I do most of my scouting with a gun in my hand. Year after year, the same places tend to hold deer, so I don't waste a lot of time in the summer looking around. I just get in there and hunt, remember the good spots, and try to go back to them when the snow hits. When youth season starts, it sure is good to get back in the woods. Nothing better than spending a day with your kid deer hunting, and if you get one, it's just icing on the cake. As you can see, my four girls really like deer hunting. They've, they've been pretty successful at it, and we've been fortunate to take quite a few nice deer through the years. Unfortunately, my youngest um, just turned 16 this year, and we're all done youth hunting now. So I'll either be taking somebody else's kids out or just heading to Maine early. Um, it would be kind of nice to have uh, that option where I, I couldn't do that before. I like to hunt the big woods of Maine and New Hampshire and in Vermont. Um, I've shot my share of small deer um, over the years, and there's nothing wrong with that. But there's nothing like the thrill of chasing a big buck on snow. Um, it's exciting the whole day long that deer is in front of you, and you just never know when it's going to happen. One thing that I found through the years is that if you put your time in and you're persistent, you almost always will get a chance. Uh, but you got to put your time in. Um, it doesn't always happen. I've posted a few pictures of some moose sheds that I've found, some deer that I've shot in the last few years. So I hope you enjoy. Sit back, listen to the music, and there's a few video clips in there that hopefully you'll find entertaining. Thanks for watching.
plus this buck is great. Uh, buck rub. I've seen maybe four or five rubs in here. Kind of half-hearted, nothing really serious. Can't really tell how big it is. It's kind of old. There's no real distinct tracks. There's, there's a lot of divots in the leaves, but um, so this is it right here. Yeah, I shot a coyote. There's two of them in here. You got them both. One's over here and one took off into the woods, but I hit them pretty good. I gotta go check. Well, unfortunately, I hit the hit the first dog, but I can't find him. I know I saw his back leg was pretty bad. He was dragging himself. And took a second shot when he went behind a tree. thought I got him, but uh, I can't find hiding the hair of him, but I know he's hurting for certain. I've just been uh, swinging in there, see if I can cut his track, but I can't, so I think he's, he's headed out, but um, I don't think he's going to live. You, Unfortunately, I hate to see that, but um, it is what it is. Um, I shot the first one and I hit both dogs at the same time in one shot. Don't ask me how I did that. They were right in line with each other, but uh, must be I went right through one and hit the other one because they both took off. They were both hit and then I finished this, finished this dog and um, then I shot at the other one, but I can't find them, so unfortunately. But two less coyotes uh, killing deer this year, so um, there's quite a few in this area so this is a young one so maybe five forty pounds or so get a tick in his ear Let's see if we get a tick pretty healthy other than that Well, folks, here I am again um, in northern New Hampshire. It's a Sunday. Um, been hunting Maine all week. Haven't seen anything really. Shot a couple coyotes one day, and um, it's been pretty quiet deer-wise. Uh, really horrible conditions till today. Um, came up this spot, never hunted here before, and uh, nailed one. I got a nice uh, eight-pointer. Not huge, but I'm um, pretty happy with him. Um, I'm figuring he's, you know, somewhere in the 150, 160 pound range. I hope. Um, thought he was a pretty decent buck when I saw him, but um, he is. I'm, I'm happy. Um, pretty, I'm really happy, actually. Um, so I'm going to go up and get him. I just had to go back and get the cart. Never use it, so I'm going to cushion it this year. So I'm pretty excited to, uh, to get up there. So, here. Well, I'm up here, about a mile from the truck. Uh, Goodness, nice log landing here. Cart over there. Um, Deer's laying right here. You can see him. Covered him up with a little bit of brush because it's gone for an hour or so. I will uh, pull him out here and give you a better view here in a minute. It's starting to rain, so I gotta put my camera away, but here he is. Just a basic eight. Nice New Hampshire deer. Not the biggest deer in the woods, but I'm pretty happy with him. Make for some good eating and take a little bit of pressure off. Now I can hunt for some horns and see what we can come up with. All right, I gotta get them loaded and get out of here. I don't want to get soaked. 